Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'll be answering the most common questions that I'm getting on this uh, Redmi uh, 4 that was uh, just uh, launched a few days ago. And I have been using this uh, Redmi phone as my primary smartphone in Dulce mode uh, for the last four days. So I'll be answering um, the most common questions that I was getting regarding this device. And I asked about you uh, for these uh, questions on the YouTube community page, got of, uh, quite a few questions. So I'll be selecting the most common questions uh, that I was getting. And the first question that I was getting a lot uh, is regarding the uh, two gigabyte RAM variant that sells for 6,999. And Robin asked, does the uh, 699 variant have the fingerprint uh, sensor? Yes, all the variants of the Redmi Note 4 that will be sold in India have a fingerprint scanner, including the 6,999 rupees variant that comes with two gigabytes of RAM. The one I'm testing uh, is the three gigabyte RAM model that sells for 9,000 rupees. So let's move to the next one. And this is by Sahil, he's asking, like most Redmi phones, does the display look a bit warm and lack colors? Uh, though the display is just a 720p display, again, uh, I would suggest you watch my unboxing video. Uh, the screen panel is actually very good. It's an IPS great panel that uh, Xiaomi is using with this one. So regarding the colors and stuff, I have no issues with this one. Uh, though it's a 720p uh, screen, the screen quality is actually good for the price. Let's move to the next one. Uh, this is by Vivek. Uh, and I've got a, uh, similar questions from quite a few. Uh, Redmi 4, is it better than the Redmi 3S? The Redmi 3S was launched uh, six months ago, if I recall. And this is the successor to the Redmi uh, 3S. Uh, I wouldn't say it's hugely faster than the Redmi 3S because the Redmi 3S had the Snapdragon 430 chipset. This has the Snapdragon 435, slight boost I would say, but in terms of build quality and uh, it, this one has a 2.5D glass. So I feel in that aspect, it is better than the Redmi 3S. But if you already have the Redmi 3S, I don't see a point of upgrading to this Redmi 4 because you won't see a huge performance gain if you move from the Redmi 3S to the Redmi 4. Uh, let's move to the next one. This is by Zafar. He's asking, does this phone support OTG? And second part of the question, does it have Gorilla Glass protection? This phone does support USB OTG. I tested it and it works fine. Regarding the Gorilla Glass protection, I asked this question to Mr. Jaimani from Xiaomi. And he said that they source the glass from multiple manufacturers. So they don't say that it is Gorilla Glass. So he didn't specify us which type of glass protection is there. He just said there is some uh, kind of glass protection, but he didn't say, it is Gorilla Glass. Uh, let's move to the next one. This is from Noel. He's asking, will the Redmi 4 uh, at least get the Nougat update uh, or uh, still it uh, will be Marshmallow? Yes, it comes out of the box with Marshmallow. Again, check out my unboxing if you want more info. I already posted the unboxing a few days ago. Again, I asked this question again to Mr. Jaimani and he said that, yes, this Redmi 4 will get the Nougat update. Already the beta of the Nougat update is there, but uh, they won't be rolling it out immediately because there are some bugs with the Nougat update. So after those bugs are squashed, they will be releasing the uh, Nougat update. I asked him when, uh, so he uh, mentioned as of now, they don't know the timeline. So it will be getting the Nougat update uh, in the future, maybe in a couple of months. So next question is from uh, T4 Tech. He's asking, is the camera better than the Redmi 4A? And can the back battery be removable? Um, uh, regarding the battery, no, the battery is not removed. The back is sealed. The battery is sealed inside on this one. And regarding the camera, if we compare it with the Redmi 4A, yes, the camera is slightly improved compared to the Redmi 4A. Again, check out my unboxing video there. I shot a lot of uh, camera samples from the red facing camera. Uh, this is by Sam. Any heating issues? Uh, again, I didn't do gaming yet till uh, this one, but I have been using as my primary smartphone for the last four days and I'm using it with dual SIM. So mostly, most of the time I'm on mobile data and with my normal usage and calls and stuff, I did not notice any heating with this uh, device. Gaming, I have to do the gaming. I didn't do gaming yet. Uh, this is by uh, Nadim. He's asking, does it support 1080p videos as it supports 720p display? Uh, if you talk about video recording, yeah, video recording, you can set it up to 1080p, but the display is 720p. So for example, if you watch YouTube videos, the max resolution you can select is 720p. Uh, this is by Atish. He's asking, if I already have a Redmi 4A or a 
3 is should i exchange it with the redmi 4 is the performance any better again i have answered this question been getting a, a similar question from quite a few if you already have the redmi 3s i don't see a huge upgrade moving to this redmi 4. Uh, this is by Dev RAM management and battery life regarding RAM management as I've mentioned I'm using the rupees 9000 rupees variant that comes with three gigabytes of RAM and I've been using it normally uh, as you can see tons and tons of apps are there in the memory using this as my primary smartphone and I did not notice any slowdowns or RAM management issues as of now with this three gigabyte RAM model and battery life has been good again it's just on the second charge as of now with the first charge I got over two days of battery battery life as you can see and in terms of screen on time it was slightly over five hours if i was aggressive i would say if i you use it just every day you can easily get above seven hours of screen on time with this one so in terms of battery life i'm happy with the battery life but again no fast charging on this one i didn't time it exactly how much time it takes to charge it was at seven percent and it took roughly uh, i would say between two and a half to three hours to fully charge actually the last 10 percent takes a lot of time uh, to charge on this one uh, this is by Thiago and I've got this question from quite a few. Does it have a LED notification light? Yes, it has a physical LED notification light. It is below the physical home button. It's tiny, but yeah, you have the physical LED notification light. Uh, this is by uh, Ayushan. He's asking about the Lenovo K6 Power or the Redmi 4. I would say as of now, if I have to pick one between the Lenovo K6 Power or the Redmi 4, I will pick the redmi 4 and because the redmi 4 i feel the build quality and the 2.5d glass is just better and it feels a better built compared to the lenovo k6 power also in terms of battery life both will give you similar uh, battery life even the battery life on the lenovo k6 power was good and even on this one the redmi 4 the battery life is good even if you are sort of a heavy user it should last for about one and a half days and if you are sort of a normal user you can get almost two days of battery life per charge on this uh, with this redmi 4 uh, okay, this is a question that I'm getting from Pintu. He's asking quite a few questions. Gaming, heating and charging review. Uh, gaming, I didn't do gaming yet. I will definitely do the gaming and post about that in the full review. Heating, as I've mentioned, I've been using it as my primary smartphone with dual sim. And in normal day to days usage, I haven't noticed any heating yet. And uh, regarding the charging, as I've told you, it does take quite a bit of time to charge and it does not support fast charging. I tried it, uh, charging it with in a fast charger and it didn't uh, charge any quicker than the supplied charger. And uh, charging, I would say it takes between two and a half to almost three hours, you could say, to charge this one. And uh, I've got this question also uh, from quite a few of you. And this is regarding the audio uh, pickup while we do video recording because generally many of the uh, budget oriented smartphones and even with the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T, when uh, we were doing video recording, the audio pickup was not that good. So what I did is I just uh, went uh, upstairs and uh, to my garden and I just recorded this clip and I'm going to play it back to you. So you guys uh, let me know what do you think regarding the video recording with the front facing camera of this Redmi 4. This is a quick sample with the front facing camera of this Redmi 4 and there is a little bit of wind noise so you'll also know how is the noise cancellation. The problem with many of the uh, Chinese phones uh, like uh, some of the variants of the early uh, Redmi phones and even OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T was that while you do video recording the audio was not that good. So let's see how is the audio on this uh, Redmi 4. I have frankly no idea how is the video uh, quality or even the audio quality. So you guys uh, let me know in the YouTube comment section. What do you think about the video recording with the front facing camera of this Redmi 4? So guys, uh, these were the common questions that I was getting regarding this uh, Redmi 4. If you have any other specific questions regarding this Redmi 4, do post your questions in the YouTube comment section below and I'll try to include them in my full review. So guys, that's it for now for this uh, video and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video